Hi, this is Dave, and this video is about the Windows XP Startup Password, or SysKey, that's been put on your computer uh, by a scammer who, who might have called you, uh, claiming to be with Windows, and, and tries to run some commands on your computer and get control over it, and then uh, messes it up and tries to get your money. Well, I'm going to show you how I guessed mine, and how I got into the computer, and reset the prompt so that I can just get right into my computer and everything was pretty much as it was I just needed to fix a couple things after I got in well here I'm entering zero uh, like six or seven times and to show you what happens when you enter the wrong password you know just hit a bunch of zeros and then hit enter and then it goes blank again you hit another wrong password and then it shows you this message when trying to update the password or something rather it gives an incorrect value and then it reboots the computer. So it starts to load your windows again and then it's back to this prompt and guess what this time uh, they apparently used a really easy password which is just something I thought I'd try one two three and you put that in and uh, guess what it works so after you click OK uh, the, the computer loads up and then once you're in to your computer you can make any necessary changes that are fixes that you need to do if they messed anything up on it Here's obviously some bunch of things that uh, the scammer typed in, the run prompt, uh, like cert manager, uh, win IT hub, and other commands, and especially the syskey command where, where they place the password on the computer with. So if you want to get rid of that, I'm going to show you here in the next steps. So what I've actually done is I've, I've went ahead and typed syskey at the, you go to start and then run and then type in syskey and then click OK. And then first time I typed it I got this message, a difference in the settings between the account database and the system configuration was detected and fixed. So I'm not sure exactly what that message means as far as the password system goes but you just click OK on it and it gives you the, uh, the other, another window about the password system which is called securing the Windows XP account database and this tool will allow you to configure the accounts database to enable additional encryption further protecting the database from compromise uh, so once enabled it says this encryption cannot be disabled and the, the only radio button available there is encryption enabled. And what I'm going to do right now until I do a little research is uh, actually uh, cancel it until I read up on it a little bit and find out what I need to do. Okay, so back at start and then run, you're going to type syskey. But I'm just showing you here really quick the, the commands again that the scammer had typed in. And this is to try to pretend like he's doing something on your computer when he initially calls you up or calls your customer up and tries to get money from you. But here, if you can guess the password, which I did, which is 123 in this case, it sure beats trying to use other methods to try to re uh, refresh or get into your computer again, like the offline password editor or offline uh, another offline registry editor so after you type syskey you go straight to the securing the windows xp account database window and i'm just going to click update and we're going to make the password blank at the top option password startup uh, startup key requires a password to be entered during system start so just leave that blank, those two fields, password and confirm. 
and you're gonna click OK. And then it's gonna ask you for the current startup password. Okay, so here in the Windows XP startup password dialog, you're gonna type in the current password, which uh, for me it was one, two, three. As you can see, I'm typing it in here, hit enter. And it gives you a success. The account database startup key was changed. And on that window, just click OK to clear it, to address the window, actually, and restart the computer. And you'll, you'll now have the prompt again when it comes back up, you have a blank password. And I've used uh, other methods to get around this, this, this scam before. Um, with a couple other customers, I've used uh, an offline registry editor uh, that will allow you to go in and choose a previous restore point in your Windows XP based computer and uh, start up with it again. But heck, this uh, sure did beat all those methods just by guessing it. I was able to get back into the computer and pretty much uh, do a little work on it and get it back up and running to my customer again. Okay, so here we're back at the Windows XP startup prompt, uh, startup password prompt rather. Uh, and now that it's blank, you can just click OK on this window because we blanked it in the previous steps. So you shouldn't have any password if you followed my directions. Now you can see that we've gotten into the computer uh, with a blank password. Now we're going to run syskey again at the start and then run command. Type syskey, S-Y-S-K-E-Y, and click OK. And it brings up the uh, password manager window and just click update again. Now here we want the system generated password option. Click the second option there, the second radio button and the second radio button under that. So it's system generated password which is the second radio button in that whole window and then you want to choose the second option store start key locally. And then you just enter the current password now, which is a blank password. So just click OK, and it gives you a success. The account database startup key was changed. And you click OK on that window to, to get rid of that box. And I'm going to restart the computer once more. That's just an end program window for some other program. So now that we've got success on the, uh, the password prompt, and it's not going to come up again, we're going to see after we restart the computer, it's going to come up and, uh, and just to, straight to the desktop. And in this case, my icons are missing. All you do to get, get icons back is uh, right click on the desktop, go to view, and then go over to the option show desktop icons to get them back. It's just a little Windows tip uh, if you're missing your icons. So in recap, I've showed you what I've done to clear the syskey password set by a scammer on my customer's computer. And I hope it helps you if your password has been the same. If not, and if he's uh, updated his password, then uh, maybe it's something else easy that you can guess, like one, two, three, four, five, or ABC or something like that. But anyway, uh, there's other methods you can still do to recover your computer, get by the password if you can't get in. Uh, you can try the offline registry editor. You can, you can find one of those online. Uh, and I don't know if the offline password editor does much good. It didn't do for me. but. Anyway, thanks for watching my video, and have a good one.